Hello, my name is Victoria Rose and welcome to my channel. Today we are going to eat from 7-Eleven for 24 hours. This is really easy for me because I kind of already do this um, in Korea. So 7-Eleven and convenience stores here are on every single corner. 7-Eleven is its own branch and chain. There's convenience stores everywhere. So the challenge for me is to find 7-Elevens because there's other stores that are basically the same thing everywhere. It's so easy to do. Now, it is early in the morning. I'm doing this um, collaboration YouTube video uh, with this Korean YouTube channel. They're doing like a Koreans react to cyberpunk or something. I don't really know what they're doing. I, I don't like to know too much information before I do anything, so I just come very unprepared. I'm gonna take out my other camera to be discreet and efficient. And we're gonna start this 7-Eleven adventure. 7-Eleven's in, in like uh, Japan and Seoul are different from American 7-Eleven's. It's not the same. It's like 90 degrees out and I'm wearing this jacket cause my outfit's kind of like, well, it's not even covered my butt, but the skirt is really short and I feel immodest. So I just wanna cover up my shoulders. And um, yeah, so this is a CU convenience store, which I go to most often because I see them everywhere. But we're not gonna go there. We're going to 7-Eleven. As you can see, there was already three convenience stores within a three minute walk. So here's a 7-Eleven up here though. We're gonna get some coffee or some sort of energy drink for some energy. That was a fast one because I'm late, but I'm gonna drink my energy drink closer to when I get there. And yep, yeah, 7-Eleven. So I'm here in the studio. I have my own little green room. I have a whole setup here. Hold on. You're doing it too. I met this beautiful lady. And this. What's up, bro? <laughs> <laughs> this crop 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 It's so hot out, this is no joke. Ugh. I'm going to great lengths to try and go to 7-Elevens only because there's other convenience stores everywhere around. But I want to also go to a new one, a new 7-Eleven that I have not been to.
This one has tuna, so I can't eat the top of that. There's way more CUs than 7-Elevens, but... I walked so needlessly far for that 7-Eleven. Like, it was <laughs> I had literally had like three 7-Elevens right within walking distance of me, and I have walked like so far for no reason. <laughs> this coffee helped a little bit, but it's really hot, and I need some water. And this is how I do my YouTube videos. The most inconvenient, strugglesome way for no reason. I'm gonna fall over. <laughs> I haven't slept properly since I've been to this apartment, and I don't know why. I literally haven't gotten a good night's sleep for like weeks now. So I am running on nothing. When things squeeze me or I wear clothes, they make me bloated. So I filmed um, quite a few videos with Awesome World, and I think by the time I upload this video, they'll have released at least one of them. My little platter here. Oh. My last meal at dinner, I'll try to make something maybe like in this store. Every 7-Eleven has like the resources to make whatever, like microwaves and hot water and stuff. So maybe I'll make something like that, depending on how I feel right now. I do not want to eat anything. I'm really overly, uh, really, really hot. Um, when I was in Japan, I don't remember too much exactly how the 7-Elevens were, but I feel like here in Korea, um, there's more. But I could be wrong because I, I could be remembering wrong. Probably am, because it's been a really long time since I've been in Tokyo. Okay, back at it. I had a quite a rest. I laid there for a long time. Like, I don't even sleep. Like, I'll just lay. You know, do you ever do that where you just lay? You don't actually sleep, but it's like, what, you can't fall asleep. Anyways, I'm hungry. It is time to eat supper. And I was thinking, well, I don't know yet. I was thinking maybe some ramen. I'm gonna try to eat there. But before that, I remembered that I need to take the garbage out. When I post like on TikTok, sometimes I'll, I'll do like little cool food videos and stuff. People are like, well, that's a lot of plastic and stuff that they use for each product. But the thing is in Korea is that it's the same in Japan as well. They recycle hardcore and everybody has to do it. So let me just show you in case you're wondering. This is all my recyclables and I had to learn how to do this. There's a certain way you have to do it. It's kind of gross. This is a bag of moldy food that has been sitting there for way too long. I need to take this out, but so you have these, oh, that actually smells bad. Okay, that needs to be taken out. So you have these these little bags for food items. So like compost, compost things, not eggshells. Eggshells go in general waste. So you put anything that is food leftovers in those little bags. And then this is general waste bag and you have to use these types of bags, things that are burnable. And then, and then you recycle uh, the plastics, um, these types of containers, all the plastic things, and you have to make sure that they're cleaned and washed out. So you got the big bag, the medium bag, the little bag. So it's 7.41, and this is usually when people are getting off work, so I really hope it's not that busy out there in the world. I feel like I've been very recluse today. I just was exhausted after we, like after, we did a lot of filming and being around people, I'm not used to being around people, socializing and having a really tight outfit. Oh, another thing. Yesterday, I went shopping in Hongdae, which is kind of like a more alternative looking place. And I wanna show you one of the outfits that I got. Adidas, it's my favorite, um, I guess, sports type of brand. I wanted to get an outfit that was really comfortable and this store was pretty good priced and the clothing is pretty high quality and it I think it is like more for guys but it can be like it was all, almost kind of they had tech wear pants and stuff like that which was really cool because you can't usually find those in stores so uh, Hongdae has several different little stores so I got these shorts which were which are I don't know what they say on them but I think I don't even remember how much they were and then this shirt was on sale for 18,000 which is like 
under $15, which is not bad because it's a huge shirt. Like I have one wanting like a huge shirt, like this drowns me. I can just swim in it and feel like I can just disappear into it. Like it's a tent. Like if I needed to, I could make a tent out of this shirt. It's so big and I love it. I'm in comfort for once. Usually I'm just torturing myself. Okay. Let us go take out this and then find a 7-Eleven, which I know where one is. I'm not gonna be fancy about it this time. We're just gonna go to the one that I know. love this outfit. I really like it. It's so comfortable. The nice thing about 7-Elevens is they're open 24-7. 7-Eleven, baby. Just to switch it up, I'm making sure to go to a different 7-Eleven each time for you. All right, that one was kind of a fail because they didn't have a place for me to actually stand aside. Didn't have a place for me to eat. Should I treat the ice cream? Hmm, I don't know. gonna do a little voiceover for this portion. I got ramen in a cup, which unfortunately I accidentally got a kind that has meat broth or flavoring. I didn't know that, but I was determined to <laughs> do it anyways. I got some hot water from, every 7-Eleven has microwaves and hot water and stuff like that, so you can make stuff right in the store. And I filled it up with hot water and then took it back over to the table and let it sit so it could cook. I also got two boiled eggs. These are, I don't remember the name, it's with an M, but they're like soy sauce marinated eggs. I love them very much and I eat them a lot here. I'm a bit shy because I didn't want to make a loud cracking noise with the egg. You have to understand I'm always battling anxiety and being uncomfortable 24 seven, being in public, eating in public, doing anything in public. It's hard for me and I try to conquer it every single day and every single time. And I hope that that inspires you at least a little bit to know that I struggle every single time. <laughs> it doesn't get easier. Anyways, I also got a fruit and tomato cup. Get a balance of healthy food and special food. This is a plum drink, I think, and it was so delicious. Korea has the best drinks, the best food probably out of any country that I've been to thus far. I'm gonna stir up our ramen. I'm just gonna eat it now, even though I didn't really want it at this point. So I just tried to eat the noodles. I didn't eat the broth. And I found this um, fried rice, like dehydrated fried rice, because it was really, really cheap. So I'm like, hey, let's try something new. Um, it, was, it just tasted like dried out rice. It wasn't good, but of course I won't waste it. Try to finish up these noodles as best I can, even though I didn't really want them. And then go outside and try out this special treat, which is a red bean paste ice cream fish. And it was really yummy. I don't normally ever have ice cream, so it was a nice treat. In Korea and Japan, they often use red bean paste as a dessert.
Another cool thing is that right outside where I live, they were giving out free water. Also, I like how there is a stoplight and a green light on the ground. I apologize that this is so dark. I don't like lights. So I got a couple other things. I ate those ramen noodles, just like I don't care about meat broth at all. There was definitely meat broth in those, but I was trying to be brave. You know, like eating in public is hard for me, especially in places that aren't, that are kind of out in the open. Like I have a problem with that. So I was trying to just do it and feel kind of like, you know, part of everything because it's it's still awkward or weird for me to like eat in a convenience store because, you know, in America, we don't do that. You don't eat in the convenience store and plus there's no chairs or anything. So it was a bit difficult, but I did it. And eating in front of uh, people and, and on camera is really hard for me too. So I'm just trying to like overcome things. I, I wanted to get some, some actual vegetables and fruits. So th these cups are nice. Fruits and vegetables, or fruits here are really expensive, but they're actually so worth it because they're so good. I love these. I don't know what it is, but these um, jelly, like this is coconut and strawberry. So that is what I eat in a day, eating at 7-Eleven the whole day, which is, like I said, very easy for me. I did try to get a, a bit of different things this time around just to see for the YouTube video, but it was fun. I like to try new things and have a reason to. You can't walk like, a few steps without coming to a convenience store. So it makes it easy to um, to get into the habit of eating at them all the time. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like this type of video, give it a thumbs up. Thank you so much for being here. Stay extraterrestrial and I love you very much. Bye.